This question deals with a previously healthy 32-year-old man is brought to the emergency department because of one day history of intermittent flashing spots, intermittent flashing spots, and blurred vision, and blurred vision. There is also vomiting, confusion, and difficulty walking. Vomiting, confusion, and difficulty walking. I'm just categorizing them into different categories. He is a painter and says that yesterday he cleaned up a spilled bottle of paint thinner. Ophthalmologic exam shows dilated pupil with hyperemia of the optic disc and retinal edema. Physical exam shows tachypnea Serum studies show an anion gap and metabolic acidosis. The most important pharmacotherapy for this patient is most likely to inhibit the activity of which of the following. Now this patient is taking, this patient cleaned up paint thinner. Now paint thinner can be made up of a variety of things. But among this variety, there could be methanol, ethanol, formic acid, and many other things, acetone. All these things, especially methanol and ethanol, can be broken down. Ethanol can be broken down to aldehyde by alcohol dehydrogenase. And this aldehyde is responsible for all these kind of symptoms, tachypnea, vomiting, confusion, difficulty walking. These are all achieved by aldehyde. Aldehyde is again broken down to acetal acetate by using the enzyme acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. This one was alcohol dehydrogenase. This is acetal dehydrogenase. Now, after it's turned down to acetate, it does not cause that many symptoms. But when it's in this state, when it's still an aldehyde, we can have a lot of symptoms. Now, aldehyde specifically does not give you dilated pupil flashing spots. Those are still the effect of formic acid. Instead of ethanol, if you had methanol, methanol would have been broken down to formic acid. And formic acid gives a lot of pupillary symptoms that we see here. So this patient who inhaled pain thinner was exposed to ethanol and methanol in that paint thinner, which gave him a constellation of symptoms. Either ethanol or methanol, either one of them can be broken down to acetaldehyde by using uh, alcohol dehydrogenase. So the question is asking, the most appropriate pharmacotherapy for this patient is likely to inhibit the activity of which of the following. If we can inhibit alcohol dehydrogenase, we're not going to make aldehyde we're not going to make formic acid, and we're not going to have these symptoms. So what enzyme, sorry, what drug is responsible for inhibiting alcohol dehydrogenase? It's fomepizole. So in this case, they're saying what pharmacotherapy? Pharmacotherapy is fomepizole, and fomepizole inhibits alcohol dehydrogenase. So the answer is going to be A, alcohol dehydrogenase.